Hey everyone, what's up? It's Steph here. We just got back from a two week road trip and my car was a total disaster. Normally I clean my car on Fridays, but I just do a really quick clean or I'll give it a wipe, do something to keep up. But after a big road trip, if you've ever gone traveling with kids, you know it needs a little bit of extra love. So today I'm gonna tackle my car. It's a total mess. I know you won't judge me. I've got little kids. So I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and then I'm going to organize and restock it with all of my essentials that I like to keep in my car at all times to cover me for all situations. All right, let's get started. So in my normal routine, I clean my car on Fridays. I go out to the car with a garbage bag and then just a reusable bag or a laundry basket sometimes and clear everything out. I throw the garbage away, bottles into recycling and then bring everything that needs to come in the house inside. Today I'm doing that same thing. There's just a lot more stuff in here because we've made a huge mess on our road trip. In order to get all the crumbs out, I'm taking the car seats out. It's a huge pain, but it means that I can get all in and around the seats and get it really cleaned. I'm also taking all the mats out so I can vacuum and clean up those mats and really get this car looking great. I don't use a fancy vacuum to vacuum up my car. I just use my regular house vacuum with a couple additional attachments. I like to just use the kind of scrape and vacuum method. So I just turn the vacuum on its side and just kind of scrape against the carpet to loosen up any hair or debris. And I find this works really well. I use the brush head attachment to do the walls of the car and the tops because I find afterwards if I come in with a cloth to wipe them down, I just spread dirt around and because the walls of the car are black, it really shows. So I vacuum all the dust out first and get all of those little crumbs out of the seats. I also use the long nozzle attachment to get in between all the little nooks and crannies. I find this is really, really helpful. To clean the mats, I'm just throwing a little bit of water on, some dish soap, and then I'm scrubbing them by hand with this little hand scrubber I got at the dollar store. You can probably find one there too. My four-year-old saw the soapy bubbles and she was all in to help me finish scrubbing the mats. And I am all about getting kids involved. She loved it, she had a great time, and she was so proud of herself afterwards. Okay, so once I've got most of the dirt and debris removed with a vacuum, I start scrubbing. I use a really simple mixture of soapy water, just a little bit of dish soap and hot water and a little abrasive cloth. Or sometimes I even use a toothbrush just to get those extra hard kind of worked in stains. I always clean the walls of the car first before moving down to the floors. Just keeps my cloth a little bit cleaner and the floor is obviously going to be the dirtiest part. So I'm just getting all of that cleaned out with just that same soapy water and putting the mats back. I use a little bit of extra soapy water and my scrubby brush to do these areas that we step on when we get in the car and it helped them shine right up. They were super clean afterwards.
Since I had the car seats out, it was a really good time to get them nice and clean. I'm gonna again use the vacuum. Use your vacuum to get as much dirt and debris off pretty much every job you're gonna do. And then I just use a mild soapy water to wipe the surfaces down and you know what? That works really well. There were a few little stuck on bits and I used a Q-tip for that or sometimes the toothbrush. These things are looking so much better than they were. They were honestly getting so crusty and so gross. So my car is now totally clean. Now let's fill it up, reorganize it. I'm gonna show you what I keep in my car at all times to cover, you know, most of the emergencies we run into when we're out and about. These days I'm always leaving a big bottle of hand sanitizer in my car at all times. I always also have a Kleenex box cause just something you need. We have movies in our car so I keep a little CD case full of my DVDs plus their headphones in this reusable case in here at all times. I don't want to have to be looking for DVD boxes or the headphones. I always keep a car charger in this little console and then masks. I often keep them with me in my purse but I like to have this extra baggie in my console just in case I forget. Last thing I keep is extra diapers and wipes because you never know, it can happen. And my biggest hack for the car is a couple of snacks for me and the kids. This has come in handy so many times when we run into hangry moments and you just need something to eat. So I just keep a little granola bar in there at all times. Okay, so in the back seat, there's a couple things I keep in here for my kids at all times. So I already showed you that we have movies in this car. I asked a bunch of people and looked in a bunch of kind of Facebook groups about it and everybody said without a doubt, get the TV in the car. So we paid a little bit extra for a car with movies and ugh, it's already been worth it. But a couple other things I like to bring along. A few um, little books. I just choose some of their kind of thin books with a hard cover and just stuff those right into the back here. The other thing I really like is something for them to do. So I don't like to have like a million crayons and pencils and markers back here. So I just grab these little like water books and they come with a little water pen. And I always have water in the car and so that's another thing they can do while we're on the go. So I just keep those right there in the back seat and they're ready to go for them when we get in the car. The last few things I keep in my car are safety things. So. Always I keep a jug of water. This one's half full because we actually use it on the road trip. So I always keep a jug of water. It's just tap water in a water jug and I just keep it in the back. You never know. And the last thing you want is someone to get thirsty or even if you need to clean something up on the side of the road, it's just really helpful to have. So I just keep that right back here. And the other thing I have ugh, is this, you know, very, not so tidy looking safety kit but it's very important uh, that you have a safety kit so I will list what I have in mind below but basically we have um, bear spray we live in Canada after all and a first aid kit a couple of tools and some candles and then um, an emergency blanket I think my dad put this kit together for me but we've always had one in every car I own if you don't have a safety kit in your car please Please just put a few things together, even just candles and a blanket, oh, a lighter. You never know what you'll need. Um, probably don't need bear spray, but obviously yeah, that's in there. Um, oh, and look, a whistle. You know, lots of just handy safety things. So we just keep that right in there. And then it's there if I need it. The other thing we keep in our car in the winter time is a big blanket, like a sleeping bag, just in case your car ever broke down on the side of the road. It gets cold really, really fast. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video motivating and you're gonna go take a few extra seconds to clean out your car. You don't need anything fancy, just a couple tools, an old toothbrush, Q-tips, some soapy water will do the trick. If you like this content, please don't forget to hit that little thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button below. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.